Hi guys, welcome to the video, which according to Megan Rasmussen is the best infinite campus tip on earth. It's gonna be a life-changing event. So I hope you are ready and excited to learn about what I have to show you. Um, this video is all about emailing parents with, of students who have missing work for you. Um, the biggest thing to make this successful that you're gonna have to do, make sure that your gradebook is all set up and ready to go. I know that a lot of departments are not grading everything, but for me, what I do, like for math, we don't grade homework, but I put in their homework problems and I put them in as zero points, and then I just mark them with a T or an M, and that allows me to quickly email parents um, of assignments that their student is missing. To do that, once your gradebook is all set up and ready to go, you go in the upper left hand corner to the menu and you're going to go to the message center. Inside the message center there are three different um, types that you can choose. So you're going to do a new message and then for message type there's a class message, grades message, or missing assignments message. This is the video for the missing assignment message. I will make separate videos for the other two. So it will say that it's gonna load a template and any unsaved data will be lost. Just hit okay. And then you can decide if you wanna change anything. Um, I usually keep the user the same, same template and then you can set the delivery date and time if you prefer. And then if you scroll down, this is the message that's going to be sent to parents. So it will have the subject missing assignment. And these blue boxes will be filled in with the student's name and all of their assignments that are marked with an M. And then it will encourage them to log on to Infinite Campus to see more information. So this, I don't really change anything. I just go ahead and hit next. And then you need to select the students that you'd like to email. So it's important that you pay attention. They have all the different quarters, so you need to make sure you select the current quarter. So I'll start with my third period math class. Then down here, you can choose if you'd like to do only certain assignments or email them all. I usually just do select all so that parents get every missing assignment that that child has. When you're ready, hit next. And you can see here that I'm going to have two recipients for this email. Hit send. And it tells me how many it was sent to. And then you can hit close if you're all done. If you need, would like to go back and do your next class, you can hit the back button. Choose your next class. So I'm going to choose fourth period math this time. Select all of my assignments, click next. You can see in this class I have nine students with missing work. Hit send and I get my confirmation page. The only downfall to this is that you have to do each class individually, but once your gradebook is set up, you can see that this takes me less than five minutes to do and the parents really appreciate it. It cuts down on the number of missing assignments that I have drastically. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can email me or stop down by room anytime.